up right away? Sure. Huh? Oh, okay. Well, That's then. okay. Should take this off. Don't wear a hat in school, as I recall. <laughs> yep. Still a rule now. <laughs> That's okay, though. Wow. Those are the ribbons we've earned uh, and uh, the presidential unit citation uh, also because uh, we rescued the 400 uh, uh, sailors from the USS, uh, 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 wait a minute, what, why can't I remember it? Uh, it was a cruiser mm -hmm. that was sunk by the Japanese and we rescued 400 of the uh, cruisers uh, wow. personnel and uh, that whole ship was just crammed with people because ordinarily uh, there's no room to waste on there mm -hmm. and uh, we filled it all up with these people. Wow. The Helena, that was the name of the cruiser that was oh, okay. sunk. It was at night and uh, pretty, pretty fancy. Yeah, that is... This represents 27 airplanes we shot down. Oh, that's as cool. A, as, a, uh, as a crew, mm -hmm. uh, you know, just because these guns are uh, manned by a certain person or mm -hmm. people doesn't mean they shot it down. The gotcha. cruiser puts up a lot of flack and <laughs> the airplane's supposed to run into it. Oh, okay. And that's what does it. That makes uh, these sense. are five inch uh, uh, installations uh, uh, here and there's five of them on there, two forecast, four forecast, and three in the rear. Wow. And then uh, right here, you see those little little barrels there? Yeah. Those are 40 millimeter anti-aircraft guns. And I was in charge of one of those. And, oh, wow. Uh, uh, and uh, on top of that, we sank uh, three submarines, three destroyers, and here's the cruiser recruit. Uh, oh, okay. That wasn't the cruiser we rescued anybody from. Mm -hmm. That was a Japanese cruiser. Okay. That makes and, sense. Uh, I don't know the name of it, but at that same night we sank a cruise, that cruiser, is the night that we uh, uh, rescued all those uh, people. Wow. That is really sinking cool. A, sinking a cruiser a jet for, for, a, uh, for a destroyer is a relatively small mm -hmm. uh, ship for the Navy, but for a destroyer to sink a, a cruiser is pretty pretty unusual and uh, we sank it with these uh, uh, torpedoes that mm -hmm. were mounted here and here and they swing out so that they're pointing not uh, forward but to, to the side and uh, they, they shoot out over the deck and drop in the water and they're running and they run into the uh, enemy, hopefully the enemy. <laughs> that makes sense. I always wondered how they did that. Uh, well, we had occasions with these uh, tw uh, 40 millimeter and 20 millimeter. I don't know if you can even see a 20 millimeter on there. They're, uh, they're mounted on the side of the deck. Uh, the ship is only 40, 40 foot wide, mm -hmm. 40 feet. So that's, that's not, not very, very much. Wide. No, you don't want it too wide because it draws yeah. more water. You can get up speed because these move pretty fast. Oh, really? Con considering their size. Right. Yeah. And uh, uh, they had this, these 40 millimeter, like I was in charge of, and then uh, 20 millimeter. 40 millimeter shell is about that big around mm -hmm. and about that long. And it gets up in the air and explodes, and they suppose they run into it. Okay. But. Uh, at one time, one of these 20 millimeter uh, uh, guns were manned by a single person. Mm -hmm. uh, he was uh, shot up pretty bad and couldn't operate, and these airplanes were coming in toward his side and low to the water. And uh, I, since I didn't have too much to do, my crew was was not doing much, much but these airplanes were coming in on this 20 millimeter. Mm -hmm. I hopped on there and I was able to put the shell into the engine of the, one of those airplanes well, that's and watch good. that sucker blow up. <laughs> that felt good. Yeah. 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 That is so cool. Now about how many people would like man the Well, big ones? Man, how many people would yeah. man that? There would be two, uh, four. About four? Four in a, 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 a one operating the elevation of the 
and another one with the, the traverse. Okay. Uh, and then two people with ammunition. Now that that ammunition was five inches in diameter. Wow. And about about that long. And uh, uh, it was designed to shoot up in the air mm -hmm. and explode, and then they'd run into it. Okay. And uh, yeah, there were about. Uh, 350 people on uh, assigned in, uh, to the ship that were on this ship. That yeah. is a lot of people. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Of course, the, the ships today aren't made like this. Mm -hmm. They're a little fancier. They don't have they don't have guns like this on them at all. They've got rockets, <laughs> <laughs> and the rockets can shoot down these airplanes mm -hmm. that they have today, whereas these guns, the, the bullets couldn't catch them. Mm -hmm. the, the airplanes moved so fast that these, these none of these guns could uh, catch on, catch wow. up, except maybe by accident. <laughs> yeah. That is so cool. I've never seen that before. Well, that's understandable. <laughs> you wouldn't have good good reason to see yeah. that. Yeah. Pretty much. Not many people left that uh, have been involved in this sort of thing. Right. We're slipping away. <laughs> At least I got you. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm going to be the last one standing. There you go. Yeah. Good attitude about so it. So far, I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> We're 89 years old. Well, I'm not quite 89. That's coming up very shortly. Well, yeah. happy soon birthday. Really, I don't have any uh, problems except the fact I can't hear well, worth of during. So I have to watch your lips. <laughs> That's okay. I can normally talk pretty loud. Yeah, well, it doesn't have to be loud so much as it uh, clear. Yeah. And that's why you watch a person's lips, because uh, we can pick out what they're saying. That makes sense. This, uh, this uh, book has uh, 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 got a lot of uh, photographs in it that uh, mm -hmm. uh, were taken by someone else aboard ship, certainly not during, uh, not during any combat at mm -hmm. the time because uh, you don't have time for that. Right. But here we are coming back under the Golden Gate. Oh, that's really cool. Yes. Yeah. It uh, makes me, it chokes me up because mm -hmm. that was a thrill. That is really cool. That was, actually, that was the biggest thrill uh, uh, in, uh, that I was ever involved in. Yeah. He didn't uh -huh. really think you'd get back. Right. This this is uh, when we were uh, damaged greatly mm -hmm. by the a uh, uh, mine that we hit and blew up a uh, blew up. Uh, and, just about almost broke the ship in half, wow. which was unusual. And uh, you can't even see it here. I don't know how they ever got that picture. <laughs> That's beyond me. You can turn any of these you want. Uh, oh, there's a few we're coming up right here that are kind of interesting. Here's a, this is in Honolulu on a, on a, uh, 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 when we were come, came back for a, a little R&R. &R, uh, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, that's n neither of those are me, just some, or at the time, good friends. Yeah, I've forgotten all these people. I don't mm -hmm. remember them anymore. Uh, but there's a couple here that I think I'm involved in. Oh, yeah. Here I am here. Here I am over here. I don't know. Somewhere here. Somewhere here. A little close-up of the ship. Here we are somewhere. I have no idea what another fella ever had. He drinks. This is a little close-up on different spots on the ship. That's cool. Uh, here, this is the same thing. And I'm in. I'm in one of these coming up. These are photographs with, with girls that mm -hmm. we've never met before. Yeah. And uh, they charged. Uh, for having their picture taken, you, know, you send that home to your girlfriend that's giving you trouble. You know. The, <laughs> yeah. Here's part of the crew. And I'm in some of these, but not all of them by a long shot. Someone else took all these photographs and mm -hmm. gave me a set. Oh, I don't right. even remember the guy that uh, made the photograph. 
I certainly didn't. And you aren't going to get any pictures of combat with airplanes right. coming in. You're a little busy. You don't have a whole lot of time for that. If you can that. take a picture of it, you should have been shooting at it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I don't know. You might recognize me there, but I can't, uh, upside down, I can't oh. tell too well. Turn it that way. This will give you some close-ups of what the ship looked like, yeah. and here's one of those five-inch guns, and there's this barrel right in the center. Those are the huge. Closer. Oh, that's me with a submachine gun. <laughs> <laughs> I was in charge of the small arms uh, aboard ship, uh, mm -hmm. which we really didn't use, but they were there in case we were stuck at some spot and uh, the Japanese would try to do board us and then we'd break the small arms out and because oh, okay. uh, you couldn't you couldn't chew them with, with, with this big <laughs> stuff. Oh here here's that forty millimeter gun. Wow. Right here with this barrel. There's another shot to it. Uh, didn't you have some questions that you wanted to ask? Have we got time for that? I mean, I don't want to... We have plenty of time. Yeah. Oh, we do? Oh, okay. Plenty. Okay. I have plenty of time. <laughs> I was wondering how come you chose me uh, uh, after one interview. I thought that would be it. Well, I love history, everything about history. I see. And Mr. Branson told us, he gave us a project to interview a World War II vet. Uh huh. Well, as we all know, they are few and far. Oh, you between. had a hard time finding them, huh? Yes. You and didn't get many answers to that ad in the Washington paper. That's, uh, right. Yeah. Oh. So I asked Mr. Branson if he had anybody, and he recommended you because he knew that you were very, you loved what you did. Uh -huh. So. Oh, I see. Well, good. I, I don't mind being interviewed twice. <laughs> at, uh, 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 I have to be careful that some of this stuff kind of catches and chokes me up some. Yeah. Uh, as I get older, I choke up much easier than I used to. At one time, you couldn't phase me uh, <laughs> with anything. Right. But uh, it happens more now. And you see some of these pictures. That I see, one here that was uh, where we leveled them. With, with those five-inch guns, those bigger guns that I was showing you, mm -hmm. we, we we bombard the uh, uh, little island that uh, that the Japanese are on. That you might see some where we you can you can you'd be able to see where we leveled it up. But these are just general pictures, and this this is definitely not full. The book, yeah. <laughs> just, just, just a few more, and that's it. This is an example of what happens when we bombard. There's nothing wow. left except the Japanese were left and they had, because they had dug uh, tunnels and mm -hmm. things underground and uh, the uh, Marines going and our bombarding didn't do a lot of good. Even the big battleships that would be about like 10, mile, 10 miles away shooting, they would shoot over us. Wow. We, we were up close with our shoot, uh, mm -hmm. bombarding. They were way back and we'd hear those guns take off and hear them Go over our head, you'd hear. Fortunately, you heard that. If you didn't hear that, they didn't go overhead. They got you. You know, our yeah. own people. But this is what happens. Uh, some of the bombardments wow. gives you a little idea of uh, of uh, uh, what people that are really in a war zone, mm -hmm. civilians in a war zone, what they have put up with. Right. They, they suffer quite a bit. Oh, this is uh, uh, transferring a, a man uh, from ship to ship, uh, what they call a Jacob's Ladder. Uh, uh, that, uh, that was kind of complicated in rough seas, and he's mm -hmm. bouncing around, he gets down to where he might even dip in the water, and then he's gonna come up, because yeah. the ships are moving back and forth, right. rocking and back and forth. We did a lot of escort work with uh, at a, uh, with aircraft carriers too. See, the aircraft carriers would be uh, 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 just sending sh uh, uh, airplanes off, shooting them off, mm -hmm. not like they do today. They had to, uh, they went off on their own power. Yeah. Today they're shot off there with by steam, mm -hmm. so, like they're throwing them, 
like we as kids had had airplanes, we'd sew them and they'd fly them out. Yeah. Well, that's the way they uh, they do it today. They throw it off, but back then they had to get off on their own uh, wow. uh, own power, and and they'd go out the end of the uh, uh, ship, and it would drop down. The airplane yeah. would drop down and and uh, make it back up most of the time. Sometimes they wouldn't and they would land at the water and we were there to pick them up. Oh, okay. Uh, the airplane would continue going down. Oh, this is uh, uh, some sh- a shot of a, of a uh, cemetery in uh, one of the islands where we bo- buried uh, uh, some of our people. This is that same guy going across a bosun's chair. Oh, here, yeah. This is this is the last you have to look at. This is just that cemetery. And here's an honor. We were, I was in this group of uh, uh, people honoring it. You know, uh, 20, 20 rounds of shots that were honoring these. Uh, I think there were twelve people we lost there. Wow. Yeah. That, that's all you have to be suffering. For, you know. <laughs> oh, I wasn't suffering at all. <laughs> I'm glad to see that uh, uh, people are, uh, young people are being, uh, uh, sh- showing the uh, World War II because it's important to remember what it was right. like. Uh, and the people at home took care of us. I mean, mm-hmm. they supplied us with the, necessary uh, equipment to defeat the Japanese. That was the big thing. Because mm-hmm. uh, when it, when they'd shoot an airplane down or sink a ship, there'd be four more behind it to, to fill, the, fill the gap. And uh, that's what what happened to the Japanese. They didn't have a chance because of our, our uh, supply of materials. Mm-hmm. So that they would shoot it down, they'd be, they'd be coming right back. Same way with bombers. You put bomber up, and you got so many up there, they can't get them all. The, the bombs are going to land and, and do their job. Gotcha. We have, uh, oh, this is what I was looking at. We, have, we as uh, Radford, had an association. Mm-hmm. And uh, 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 because we were somewhat famous, even Ann Landers, are you familiar with Ann Landers? Yes. Uh, columnist uh, like. Uh, 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 which would write in and she'd answer the questions yeah. and all this kind of stuff. Well, she wrote a, one of her articles uh, on the USS Radford and the things that the Radford had done. Wow. Uh, uh, but and we had uh, this, 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 there was some news involved here mm-hmm. with, uh, with this association and this letter, but it wasn't uh, anything describing describing uh, 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 the fighting of, that we did. Right. It was just something to, to get people together that had been on the ship. Mm-hmm. And that took quite a, quite a task to, to get all these people together. And once a year we'd have a, uh, a meeting and, and a rendezvous, we'd call it. A, and uh, I did a couple of them and I got a little tired of it. Uh, mm-hmm. And it didn't help. And then, first thing you know, there weren't many of the World War II in this thing because yeah. the ship really is, uh, also operated during uh, uh, the Vietnamese War. Oh, wow! And uh, and, then, and those people actually took over the, the association, rightfully so, because they were most common. Right. We had <laughs> we had fallen aside <laughs> World War Two, but. Uh, uh, it, it, it served a purpose. Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, uh, the, uh, I don't know if there's anything here. I'd have to look at it. This is, this is just one of those magazines, and I got one for, for two or three times a year mm-hmm. since 1990, I think. So. so you've got a lot of them. A lot of them. <laughs> and you'd have to dig hard to find out any information that you would be interested in. Right. Wow. I think it behooves you to uh, realize that uh, uh, I was uh, barely older than you are right now at the time that I was uh, drafted into the wow. Navy. I had tried to enlist 
uh, a year before I was drafted. Uh, um, and I went down into the St. Louis to uh, be checked over and, uh, and uh, see, and I was 17 years old at the time. Mm -hmm. Of course, we were all ripped up then. It was a, it was a war that everybody wanted to get, get into. But uh, uh, my dad had called down there and told him, he ain't going. <laughs> so they, they found a fault uh, that I was, uh, whatever, they wouldn't take me. But the next year they grabbed me. Yeah. And I always kid, they grabbed me out of high school. I still had uh, one more year of high school to go, and mm -hmm. they drafted me out of it. Wow. Well, I had an expertise that they were anxious to have. They needed my body in front of somebody important mm -hmm. for the bu bullet to hit and keep from hitting anybody <laughs> important. And that's about what it was. <laughs> but really and truly, I was only like 18 years old. 18 to 22 was the time I was in the wow. service. And uh, y'all are... I'm 17. 16. You're 16. Yep. And, yeah. And some of these boys around here are 17. Right. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's hard for me to believe that that was me at that time. But right. you can look at some of those pictures, you can see. And you can tell. Pretty young. <laughs> yeah. I had some hair, too, at that time. <laughs> Well, I have, I've made up a list of questions if you oh, would. Oh, sure, sure. If you wouldn't like to answer some, just say pass and okay. I'll move on. <laughs> um, so you said you were drafted, right? Yes. Well, when you said you wanted to enlist, why did you want to? Because uh, everybody was uh, enlisting. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was just, well, actually there had been a, 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 we'd been gathering troops in the United States since about 1940, building mm -hmm. up a little bit, because we could see something might happen. But then when it did happen, when, when, the, when the Pearl Harbor hit, well, that was a sneak attack. Yeah. And uh, uh, we all thought we were going to, dive in and wipe them out right day after tomorrow, mm -hmm. you know. Of course, it didn't happen that well, but uh, uh, we, we were just a popular war. It's not like uh, the v Vietnamese war took right. place. And uh, uh, these these skirmishes that we have today, killing people right and left and maiming people right and left. More, there was more maiming in this these last few skirmishes mm -hmm. than there were deaths. Wow. You know, that, that takes a lot more people than the population right. of which we are today we hate that to see these young men with missing uh, right. limbs there wasn't that much of that there were a lot of deaths because mm -hmm. when a uh, bomb or a ship would sink everybody would go with it you know so that's the reason did you join any boot camp or like did you have to go through any training before you oh, yeah i went through boot camp yes what was that like uh well again remember i was only 18 years old mm -hmm. that was pretty tough i left now uh, i left kirkwood train station mm -hmm. at 18 heading to uh the uh uh, uh, boot camp in uh, in in uh, let's see Idaho Farragut Idaho mm -hmm. uh, for a boot camp for a sailor middle of the country but it did have a big big <laughs> lake called uh, Coeur d'Alene Lake okay. and that's why they put it there but uh, I didn't even know about a lake yeah. see, I didn't know I didn't know anything. Mm -hmm. I barely knew the states, the United States, which we didn't have Hawaii or As uh, Alaska at those times. Right. I knew nothing about the South Pacific. I'd heard of Hawaii. It would be a nice place to visit, you know. But other than that, didn't know anything about the, uh, the islands, that there were multitude of islands that I hit. And I remember some of them now. Mm -hmm. Still couldn't point them out or describe them because you didn't know. They were just, they were just islands. Yeah. Um, did you have anybody to like write you or like send you care packages while uh, going through boot camp? No, I don't believe so. My parents, I don't recall receiving any care packages or 
Uh, I did have a few letters from my parents or my brother and sister. I can't remember for sure. Okay. Um, when you arrived on the ship, what was it like? How, like, how, what was everybody's mood? And scary. Very scary. S scary. Not everybody's mood, because mm -hmm. some of these people had been there for a while. Okay. Uh, for a couple of uh, months or years, but for uh, an 18-year-old and uh, <laughs> didn't know, and everyone could go out on the water and have this ship uh, keep me from round, drowning. Mm -hmm. That's why people uh, here we call we we put so much importance on our ship, we our ship, and we called it a she. Mm -hmm. Everybody called. You've probably heard that about different ships, you know. Yeah. She did this, and she. Yep. We relied on that ship to stay afloat so that we wouldn't drown. Right. Yeah. So how did you stay in touch with your family whenever you were in battle? How did I keep up with them? Yeah. Oh, I didn't. Oh, you didn't? No. Frankly, though, I, 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 uh, not when I was in battle. I wasn't in battle the whole time. These, mm -hmm. these fights, these uh, aircrafts that were trying to bomb us would happen maybe uh, once a month or maybe less, you know, you just never, you just weren't always uh, under fire. Okay. You were many, many times firing though, like mm -hmm. bombarding or something, and there were possibilities of, of a stray airplane coming over trying to do damage, but that was rare. Um, on the ship, of course, what were the supplies like? Like, did you have enough supplies? Or? Oh, I had plenty. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was because of the, the people back home making the supplies and food. And and uh, back home, they weren't eating. We were eating. Uh, <laughs> at, at home, uh, there was rationing. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, there were uh, meat rationing, butter rationing, wow. sugar. Uh, automobiles weren't available. New ones weren't available. Used a good used car was very expensive wow. because you c couldn't buy a new one. Uh, tires were uh, and batteries were rationed, uh, uh, hard to come by. All kinds of food were hard to come by at home here, mm -hmm. yeah, but we didn't have any trouble. We ate. <laughs> In the Navy, we ate pretty good because we had a, a, a galley, a, 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 a uh, and a cook, a couple of cooks mm -hmm. going all the time, uh, and, and we had a bunch of officers that weren't going to, were they, they weren't going to allow themselves to go hungry. So uh, they were well, there you sure. go. <laughs> Did you do any, any, like anything special for good luck? Uh, well, about all I could say is that uh, most everybody carried a knife of consequence, a hunting knife mm -hmm. on their belt. Uh, it was uh, a mental thing because uh, we figured, well, we, if, if, we, if the ship got sunk and we were on the w in the water, uh, we'd use that knife to keep the uh, uh, sharks away. Mm -hmm. Well, that wouldn't have done any good anyway. But uh, uh, fortunately, it never hap had to happen. Right. But uh, we didn't have anything else that we could uh, rely on except the ship. But, okay. Uh, how did everybody entertain themselves? Oh, well, uh, sometimes not too smart, but uh, most of the time we had, we'd be in a port that we'd be spending a little time in. We'd have uh, movies, uh, and we'd trade movies back and forth to different ships that we'd meet. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so we had some of the popular movies that were in, uh, coming out of Hollywood at that time. Oh, that's uh, really cool. Uh, and we played cars, and we'd uh, roll dice, and. Uh, and we also mix up uh, uh, what we call torpedo juice. Uh, torpedoes had an engine in them mm -hmm. that would run on would run on alcohol. Okay. And we'd mix that alcohol and purple. Uh, what we called it purple passion was some kind of purple fruit juice. I don't remember what it was. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, only 18 to 20 years old at those particular times. Yeah. It only took a few sips, uh, and that was enough that you get sick in the dog. Dumb. But, you know, when you're in those situations, you're not looking too far into the future anyway. Right. Uh, you know, now, where you all are concerned in, uh, these days, you you got to look into, look into the future, and that's why you spend so much time uh, studying and mm -hmm. hopefully and uh, uh, working toward the future. Yes. We didn't really give consider much consideration. 
Where, like, how many places did you travel while you were in the service? All over the South Pacific, mm -hmm. all over to as far south as Australia and New Zealand. Uh, we visited those places because uh, we, we brought in, uh, escorted a, a damaged uh, cruiser that uh, was manned by, uh, Viet uh, by uh, uh, New Zealanders. Mm -hmm. And uh, we escorted their ship there, protected it against the further damage. It had been torpedoed and it wasn't in real good real good shape, but the people that uh, really welcomed us uh, because we we took care of all their the boys because it was all their men mm -hmm. that were on that ship. Okay. Were there any like funny or humorous things that you remember like specifically? Well, I, the, the pictures of the, uh, my, some of my friends with the gr girls in Hawaii and myself with girls and those pictures, uh, posed pictures, mm -hmm. that was sort of humorous uh, because uh, that's all it was, was pictures. You know, we, right. You know, they, uh, when they, uh, and humorous, other than that, I, I really can't think of anything uh, humorous. Oh, I do. Uh, when we cross the equator, mm -hmm. there, there's a ceremony you go through, uh, the X, X, uh, I can't even remember what they called themselves. X people that had crossed the equator, mm -hmm. uh, they were veterans of the, whatever they called it, uh, crossing the equator, and they, they got to run people like myself that had never been across there through a ritual that uh, was uh, rather humorous. Uh, and, uh, Just did some crazy scary. things. They made it scary as best they could, yeah. <laughs> well, after the war was over and you finally got to go home, what do you remember doing like afterwards? What were your main like priorities to do? Partying, partying. <laughs> trying to, trying to, uh, uh, Drink all the beer in Kirkwood. <laughs> so live up that just, teenage uh, life. Just enjoying life and relaxing, basically. Uh, but not, not drunkenness or anything. But, uh, yeah. Did you go to wor work or school afterwards? To go where? To work or school when you oh, got back. Oh, when I, uh, it took a little bit, but I went back to school mm -hmm. uh, for high school. I still had another year to, to go, and I went to a special school. They wouldn't let me back in Kirk Kirkwood. See, I, I ra was raised in Glendale, Missouri, which is between uh, uh, Webster Groves mm -hmm. and Kirkwood. And I went to Kirkwood High School, <laughs> less than one year. But when I came back, they wouldn't let us back in uh, those old guys that take yeah. advantage of those young girls yeah. and they, they put the kibosh to that and uh, they uh, sent us to a school in uh, St. Louis mm -hmm. and down on uh, 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 Grand Avenue uh, uh, called Hadley Vocational School, an accelerated course to earn a uh, earn a diploma, a high school mm -hmm. diploma, and uh, did that in maybe uh, three months, three, maybe four. Uh, and uh, at the same time, I did a little partying too. <laughs> See, that was a, the accelerated course was uh, pretty easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it made it easy to go and still hang out with your friends and everything. Yeah, yeah. well, I, I had some trouble with some algebra Mm -hmm. uh, most everybody did in those days. Me too. Oh yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, I had a friend of the family that was going to high school, probably mm -hmm. about your age, maybe a little younger. Uh, and she she was pretty adept at uh, school work, and especially on the, she helped me out, and uh, I squeaked by. Mm -hmm. Well, at least you made it. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you still keep like? keep up with your other friends that were in? Well, I did with this uh, at Radford Association uh, mm -hmm. uh, that we had, kept up with it for a while. Uh, but not not when I got out of uh, uh, the service. That association didn't start until about 1990. 
and uh, one of the guys started picking it up, and I was contacted to mm -hmm. see if I wanted to. But uh, they just uh, f friends that got out of the service. Uh, but I, I was one of the first in my, my area that get home because it was a point system, mm -hmm. and uh, you got a certain number of points for how much, how many months you spent overseas, and uh, w w some of the things you did, and all you got to they built up and. Uh, I was able to get uh, home pretty early compared to some other people. I was a little older too than most of my, believe it or not, <laughs> older. <laughs> yeah. Is, if there is something you would like to tell kids or like men or women going into the service, what would be one thing you would tell them? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, that's, uh, that's a difficult question. <laughs> Yeah, not one. You wouldn't want to limit it to one thing. It had to be a lot of things you want to tell them. Well, give me a list uh, then. It's it's a tough life. Mm -hmm. It's a tough life. It's a lot more tough than they explain and you can expect. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, uh, it takes a special person. Mm -hmm. uh, they have to. You have to put up with. Uh, all kinds of demeaning type of things. Mm -hmm. So I don't know one thing I would tell. Do, would you have rather stayed in high school to finish it out, or would you have rather, or would you still make the choice? No, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad it worked it the way it did. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I gained experience, necessary experience, because uh, while I was going to high school, one of the reasons I was drafted was that uh, I was in the lower third of my class. And the reason I was in the lower third of my third of my class is that I was a very poor student. Mm -hmm. I didn't give education uh, uh, much consideration. And uh, I would say, uh, make sure you get all the education that you can mm -hmm. before you get into the service, even though you can get education while you're in, right? Uh, but uh, uh, it's a lot better if you get it before you go in, you can go in with uh, some sort of an officer's rank if mm -hmm. you graduated from college, Okay. Uh, certainly. So that has, uh, that's important, that education. I learned the hard way mm -hmm. that I uh, neglected uh, my education. Yeah. <sighs> That's all the questions I have. Oh, well, Is there good. anything else you would like to add? Uh, well, I just think it's uh, great and fantastic that the young people are uh, interested in the World War II to the extent that they mm -hmm. are here. I'd like to see more in other schools here. I'd like to hear of more young people uh, learning about uh, World War II. I have a great grandson that is seven. Mm -hmm. And I suspect that uh, when he gets into history, by that time, they'll forgot all about World War II. Hopefully In his not. case, though, his parents will bring him up to his, to his old grandpa, you know. Mm -hmm. So he'll, uh, he'll get a little bit, but I don't think there's enough, uh, uh, enough uh, education uh, pertaining to wars. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, dip, the, the, the diplomatic uh, corps that we have, that's supposed to prevent skirmishes. Yeah. They're useless. They're useless. Uh, uh, we're not tough enough. I can throw this in. It's not, I don't think it's so related to your question. But instead of pouring money into all these other little countries or big countries, any of them, mm -hmm let them earn their own money, and we use that money to help our young people uh, get educated. I instead agree. of making it so difficult for them to get an education. I agree. Costing a fortune. And uh, the colleges are capitalizing on that. They're putting money in their back pocket. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. So I guess that's what I'd like to see. At least they better hurry.
Yeah. I won't be here long <laughs> enough to see it. I don't believe. <laughs> That's okay. You'll still be around. Uh, At least your grandson uh, will have the ability to talk to you and hear your stories about it too. Uh-huh. So. Uh, well, of course, yeah, you you folks will, you'll have records of it and you'll mm-hmm. listen to listen to them now and then and uh, uh, yeah. But there's so many more young people that aren't getting a drift of it, you know. Right. Yeah. And that's just World War II. We got all the rest of them too. Mm-hmm. We don't need to. Uh, we don't need to uh, control the other countries. Let them control themselves. Right. I'm a, years ago, before World War II, ten years before, we were isolationists. Mm-hmm. Or we were the United States was here. Remember, we didn't even have, we owned uh, Hawaii and uh, uh, and uh, Alaska. But they weren't states. But mm-hmm. we we encompassed here, and we didn't worry about other people. Mm-hmm. But uh, well, I'm talking about the 1930s. You know? Right. We we have to get in and uh, get involved in all these other skirmishes. That bad news. Like we're talking about getting into Syria now too. Right. So, you know, uh, what do you think that's going to be like? Just as bad as any of the rest yep. of them. You it know? will be. Yeah. It will be. <sighs> yeah. Instead of instead of going in and wiping them out, mm-hmm. they uh, uh, they piddle around with them. Right. Doesn't work. See, they just need to take your guys' advice. You know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, uh, that. Uh, uh, I can't remember what what is what's the name of this controversy now that took place a couple of months ago, uh, where uh, uh, it started with a B. Uh, uh, Benghazi. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, now that's an example of our. Uh, you see, here's here's an opportunity for us to go on in and clean that bunch out mm-hmm. because they. Uh, they stepped. They stepped. Overstepped their bonds. Right. Because they're not supposed to be fooling around with uh, diplomats. Right. Well, these other people don't care about that. They they go do whatever they feel like. The Muslims, in particular, they're mm-hmm. going to they're going to be ruling us one of these days. Yep. They are going to be ruling us if we don't fight. Now, uh, I I'm prepared to fight them. I am. Mm-hmm. I. Uh, I I don't always carry, but I usually do. Yep. And uh, that's there that when uh, some Muslim decides uh, I'm going to have to wear that turban, it's going to happen. Right. It'll be a mess one of these days, but it's going to happen. But at least people will be, most people should be armed. Yeah, that's that's why the, the Japanese, that's why they didn't uh, uh, Land in uh, in uh, Colorado in uh, 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 I can't even remember the he's just, uh, what's the most eastern west state what's that California yeah <laughs> of course I'm I've talked today more than I ordinarily talk in a month but, uh, the Japanese wouldn't uh, decide they wouldn't uh, land in uh, California because too many people had guns. Right. And they'd have used them. That's yeah, what it should still right. be that like. It'll happen here, but it's still, there'll be some enough Muslims that, uh, and there'll be a lot of wishy washies that'll say, well, uh, the Muslims are better than dying because that's what the Muslims will do kick, mm-hmm. work, kill anybody, get out of line, they'll, they'll kill. Right. And, uh, We'll wonder what happened all of a sudden, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. agree. Okay. Thank you for everything. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm happy <laughs> to do it, really. Uh, I was uh, dubious to mm-hmm. start with uh, because I thought it would work me up some. i got to be careful about that. <laughs> uh, but my wife uh, said that I really ought to give it a whirl and see what happens. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. I love mm-hmm. learning about history and I'm glad I had the opportunity to meet with you, meet with an uh, actual World War II uh, veteran. Oh, well, well, thank you. My pleasure to make it work. Okay, what do we, I always have to be 